Good morning Vietnam or well, good morning Slovakia. Okay, decided to come to the big river because I'll be wading. I've got my under wading trousers on under my waders and I'm sweating like a pig already. But river's looking quite good, level's looking quite good. I'm a little bit late starting. I'm sure the early morning rise is gone. Oh. 10 foot 3 weight rod Start the dry fly, of course But this allows me the flexibility to move to Euronymphing I stuck a Euronymphing line in my pack And we'll see how it goes So, what am I using today? I'm using a brown Hackled, brown bodied clink hammer Just cast out there and a fish just rose. Not at me, I was two or three metres over it. It rose just here. Again, if it doesn't rise consistently or struggle, you know, there's two or three metres of area it could be in. So I just need to put the fly over, put the fly over, put the fly over. Unless it rises again, you know, this uh, choppy water, you just, you lose the rise almost right away. It's not like you see the rings or anything, it just splash. There's a rise, see it? Here we go. Big rainbow. Shit. Lost it. Seen the big silver flash under the water. Oh, the hook's fine, but the the nylon has flipped round the the nylon had flipped round the hook, so that's probably why I lost it. <laughs> oh, no, something stupid like that. You lose a big fish. It's an injustice. When it came up, I could see the big silver length of it under the water. Yeah. There is a lot of caddis about. That's probably what they're going for. Oh, there we go. Oh, he's away. He's off. Whew. He broke me off. Did he? Yeah. Wow. That's some fish. Six, uh, three kilo copolymer. That's it. Fly's gone. Okay. Oh, lost another one. It's the third big rainbow I've lost here. There's something wrong with this uh, copolymer I've got on. It's old or something. It broke me again. Okay. It's Look at that. Okay, I'm good to change for right. Good to try. That's a little quill nymph. Up, up, and here. I don't know, tiny little bit of flash with little cool de canard. And this time, a little bit closer in, a little bit high sticking. Let the nymphs drop through the water. Just vary it all the time. You're out in that stronger cunt than them so work themselves, they'll just come round at a natural pace. Just occasionally give them a little tweak to keep them off the bottom. 
Yeah, okay, I was nymphing along there. Picked a little rainbow. Nothing big. <laughs> wow. It's a feisty little fish, eh? Not a big fish, but nice. Look on the bottom, uh, nymph. There you go. There's a rainbow. There's some leech. I was going to try and take those leeches off the tail. But don't do it. The fish is very slippery. Very small nymph. And once I think they're drifting just along the bottom, then I'm going to high stick. Just control them coming down. Oh, flies biting my ear. There we go. It's a better rainbow. And it's a big fish. Some control over it. Shame of it having to nymph to get fish. Flexibility on these Euronymph rods is. <laughs> he take the dropper? Maybe. Oh, I think I've got my hand in front of the camera. Nice fish. Totally different fight from the dry fly. It's a huge brownie, I think. Yeah, it's a huge brownie. Wow. That's what you call a fish. Little nymph. That looks a little bit straightened out. I might change it. And we have a huge, fat brown trout who desperately wants to go back. And he's back. There we go. I think it's just a yeah, little rainbow. Nothing on the dropper. That was a fly I just put on. There's a couple of leeches on this fish. I'm just taking them off. You open the fish. Okay. Swimming down there, just watched a large ra rainbow just take a dry fly there. Instead of coming right up the whole fish, just beautiful silver, just take this dry fly off the surface. So I know there's big rainbows still about. 
<laughs> we've just come around the cunt there and I took this very small, very energetic rainbow. Going crazy. Nice fish. I don't even think I'll uh, just hooked in the lip. I don't think I'll use the net. I just. Beautiful fin. Beautiful wild rainbow. It is gorgeous fins on that. Beautiful colours. Okay, the leeches. Uh, he's off. Uh, oh. It's a bit clumsy, but I was trying to take the leeches off him. Just to give him my help, there was two. I got one off his back, and there was one right on his dorsal fin, but I just checked they're not in my hands. Nah, they're fine. 